Now in my last project video, I showed you how I made this custom display box for this Cap'n Crunch whistle. The Cap'n Crunch whistle is very old, and it's not because Cap'n Crunch is my favorite cereal, because it's not. My favorite cereal was actually Fruity Pebbles. But it's kind of because of the era that I grew up in, and the things I was interested in as I was growing up, and I'm still interested in now. The unique thing about the Cap'n Crunch whistle is it actually produces the perfect 2600 hertz tone. And a man named John Draper figured this out, and he knew that if you use that tone while on a old-fashioned landline, you could make long-distance calls for free. And this inspired him to start making more things and trying new things to see if he could get around some systems. And that's really what this is all about. That's what YouTube is all about. That's what the internet is all about. It's about experimenting and trying new things and making new things. And sometimes those things aren't really legal, but it's something that people like you and me do because we're so passionate about figuring out how things work. And so my wife knew that I was a fan of John Draper and that I wanted one of these whistles. So she bought me one of these for Christmas and I've had it kept away someplace safe until I could get time to make a box for it. So this is the box I made. Now I did actually have a couple of issues with this and I might need to do it over, but basically, if you can see here, I split the wood a little bit here. And I did do a pilot hole as you saw in the video, but maybe the screw was just a little bit too close to the edge, I'm not sure. So that didn't really work out. And then after some time, the plexiglass stressed and cr just split right there. And it wasn't like that on the video. It actually took a couple days for that to happen, I guess. But it is what it is. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to remake this or if I'm just going to keep it as is. I kind of like the idea of just keeping it as it is because that way it stays associated with Live Free and DIY and I can remember what happened and, and that this was the original box that I made for it. So I don't know if I'm going to be nostalgic or if I'm just going to fix it. Who knows. So I hit a new milestone this week. I think I got my first troll comment, which was pretty exciting for me. I'm getting a lot more spam comments and YouTube does a pretty good job of alerting you that it's probably spam. So that hasn't been a big problem, but today was my first troll. I'm pretty sure he was a troll and I had some interaction with him, so that was fun. So I've had a couple people tell me that they would be willing to buy one of my wooden play buttons, and so I think that I might make a couple more and put them up on an Etsy store or something like that. I do have a blank ready for a play button to be installed. In fact, I was going to record that process because that got messed up in the video and then I had the idea of of actually just doing a similar process for this and recording that so I think I actually may make a bunch of these this weekend and I might give one away and then maybe put a couple up on Etsy for sale so we'll see how that goes so I bought my two youngest children a set of screwdrivers each and I've given them a bunch of old crap that doesn't work anymore and I said here you go take it apart do what you want with it and they had a lot of fun taking it apart and give me the pieces but they started making stuff with some of the stuff they've been taking apart and my son brought me this which is some plastic that he taped together and he said it was a wallet so that's cool it's not really a functional wallet it's just put together with tape but great imagination. And then my daughter brought me this contraption. She didn't say what it was, but um, I really like it. And I love that they are experimenting and making stuff. It's pretty encouraging to see them working with their hands and taking things apart and trying to figure out how they go back together. That's what I did when I was a kid and I really want that for them too. So Bob from I Like To Make Stuff put out a video this week about how to make custom hand grips for a rock climbing wall. And the process was interesting, but what really inspired me 
was that he has built him his own rock climbing wall. I've always enjoyed doing that when I was younger and I never thought about doing my own. So I'm going to put a link to the video in the description of this video and I'm going to be thinking about what I can do to build my own. I mean, it's not that hard to, you know, build a wall, as it were, and then to get the, you know, hand grips to climb on. But I think my kids would really enjoy it, but I want to do it in a way that will be safe for them because I can't, you know, be out there and watching them climb a wall all the time. So I'll be thinking about doing one of those myself. I don't think he actually has a video of making that wall though, but just seeing the wall was inspiring to me and so I think I'm gonna do one. I've also still been thinking about doing a 12 monkeys clock. I'm still really enjoying the show. I just haven't had time to figure out exactly what I want to do for it. Well, I think that's about it for this vlog video. I hope you all have a great weekend coming up. It's Memorial Day weekend. Enjoy yourself, be safe, and please don't forget to like and hit subscribe below. If you enjoy my content, check me out on Patreon. I'd really appreciate the support, and I will catch you all next week. Thanks again, and I'll see you later. Bye. There's a horse fly in here. Got it.